We mentioned yesterday about former PCX, an anonymous probationary Thames Valley Police Constable who was facing his misconduct hearing for having sex with another constable, referred to simply as E, and who sent inappropriate messages to another woman who he had met whilst on duty. Well, the outcome of that hearing has now been released, but before I tell you the sanctions dished out, there is a bit more information from the hearing. Former PCX didn't offer any evidence at the hearing. In fact, I'm not even sure if he turned up. But it was said that he had shown zero remorse and had failed to accept any responsibility, even refusing to acknowledge that his actions did amount to misconduct. The panel were told that the woman who he had met during his duties and who he formed an inappropriate relationship with was actually the mother of a missing child who went missing back in March. Again, a vulnerable woman. It's genuinely sickening how police seem to enjoy going after broken women. Former PCX had exchanged a total of 311 messages with the woman and it was found that he did so without a legitimate policing purpose. It was also found that he had knowingly deleted the messages from his police issue mobile phone, trying to hide the evidence. I mean, how stupid can police really be? Going after vulnerable women is bad enough, but to be stupid enough to use your work phone to contact them is dumb on another level. A claim that he had searched for the women's details on the police computer systems was not proven, nor was the claim that he had had sex with E in June on a work from home day. Although that doesn't mean it didn't happen, just that there wasn't enough evidence. Although both former PCX and E had admitted to knocking boots previously. PCX's representative Nigel Snell said that PCX had continued to believe that he hadn't done anything wrong saying that he had been a very inexperienced probationary officer at the time and unaware of College of Policing guidance around communications with members of the public. Yes, because of course it's so fucking impossibly difficult to understand that shagging vulnerable victims of crime is fucked up in the head. Never mind the fact it's against police procedures. Anyway, Edward Barham representing Thames Valley Police asked the panel to find that the former officer would have been sacked had he not resigned from the force. He said the only appropriate outcome was dismissal in order to maintain public confidence in the police and deterring misconduct in other officers. PCX was found to have breached the standards of professional behaviour and the decision of the panel was just that. Now I don't know if he's been added to the College of Policing's barred list and I still have no information about E who had clearly breached professional standards herself with her involvement with the knocking boots allegations. But I will see if I can find out any more on that, and if I do, I will bring it to you in a future report.